Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of my large format photography in Greece. If you missed the first part, you can click up here or in the links down below. And uh, now without further ado, let's get back into the video. After we spent two beautiful weeks by the seaside, we headed over towards the mountains. Four hours of driving through beautiful countryside and we finally arrived to Meteora, a place of spectacular rocks and cliff-top monasteries. Which were built between 14th and 16th century. There used to be 24 of them, but now there is only 6 left. Nowadays they can only be reached by steep paths that were carved directly into the rock. They even built lift systems and winches to get their supplies. They are definitely hard to reach, but when inside it feels like you just enter the paradise. While we were driving between the monasteries, I spotted this place and I thought I should give it a try. We only had one full day so it was quite a task to see everything and to find a good spot to make a photograph without many people around. It was a beautiful sunny day but I was quite afraid about the wind because it was blowing quite strong and I only had that small tiny tripod with me. With such a weak support it's virtually impossible to get the film holder in without moving the camera. I just hope that the sun and short exposure will save the shot. After an amazing day it was unfortunately time to head back home. Guys let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me making a more detailed tutorial on how to develop dry plates.
unfortunately this time I paid the price of uh, forgetting my tripod mount back at home and using a small Joby tripod instead. This week I also made a gift for one of my Patreons, actually it's a cyanotype I made with glass dry plate shot on Kodak Brownie number 3A. I just can't express how grateful I am for your support, thanks again. Guys that's it, thanks for watching, if you found some value in this video please smash that like button down below and subscribe to my channel up here. And I would also like to invite you to watch my tutorial on how to make cyanotypes. Until next time, enjoy!